and your excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our table uh, was fortunate to have with us the Prime Minister of the Netherlands, but also two companies that announced their commitments earlier, Aviva and Enel, and we had a very lively discussion which involved a number of issues. I'll cover just three because of time. The first issue that came up is what role can business play? And the examples that were shared is that first business has to lead and implement the, the priority areas that manage risks in the rule of law within their industry. But the second thing, when they can't do that, industry should support, business should support countries to build the capabilities in the rule of law in those areas where the companies cannot lead. And then finally, the companies should restrain themselves from not behaving properly and, and not to take advantages of countries that have weak capacity, for, for instance, in tax areas or loopholes that may be created because of weak capacity. The second big area that can support then business to do this job of leading, restraining itself, but also supporting, is the role of government. And here, governments can support first by setting benchmarks so that those can be followed nationally but also globally. Uh, looking at how to support uh, transparency in reporting, and that requires evaluation, monitoring and evaluation, so that the, the disclosure and information disclosure can be tracked. But then there's a third category, which is no matter how much we do with aid, which is about $150 million, uh, billion, the biggest chunk is capital markets. It's over $300 trillion. So one should focus attention on getting change through the capital markets. The third big piece we talked about then is what's the role of the local uh, communities and the local elites, uh, because though there could be partnerships that can be built in that area. And here three ideas came up. First, to work with smallholders, whether in agriculture, small companies, to support supply, entire supply chains. We had examples of how that has been done uh, with very good results. But the second is to work with, uh, with uh, those who are interested in changing their own legal and, and, and rule of law environment and create partnerships that allow those transformations to take place, but to do it wisely to, afford, to avoid what was isomorphic mimicry where countries create an environment like they're doing what is supposed to be done, but the actual institutions are not in place. And to close in the role of education, which came up as very important, to support by educating people on the importance of rule of law, educating companies so that the issues can go forward. And this allows me to make a commitment from our side we uh, at Mkoba Private Equity are committing to subject the $150 million fund that we have to use through its investment process and supervision after investment the sustainable development goals in the evaluations. Thank you very much.